Hi guys, this is LT Survival. Well, if you have seen the capsule before clicking on the video, you know it is the other ticket. This one is full size. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Well, as you could saw on the uh, intro, the Tico Tough, compared to its smaller cousin, the Zero, this one is a full-size flipper knife. And when I say full-size, I say a full hand with some space to spare because I don't even exceed uh, this part of the uh, the handle. So the thicker tough is made uh, a little tougher, a little bigger, a little heavier than the zero that we reviewed last time. It is a really nice knife. I like the blade shape. Uh, reminds me of the 940 on beige made. Yes, it is a flipper though. And a nice flipper because it fit like crazy to bronze phosphor uh, washer or the second one is so dark that it may be other stuff or maybe uh, not nylon but uh, Teflon maybe a Teflon wash I'm not sure I have to do some ooh, to do some research on it but it is quite smooth the detain ball on this one is not not that great but if you compensate when you flip it works almost flawlessly this one the flippers change for a, a guard for the finger you have a nice choil uh, some jimping on top a little rough so if you're cutting something very hard and you have your thumb on the jimping you'll know it it is a little sharp okay the edge of the uh, of the jimping is a little sharp if you took a file to it slightly you probably would be more comfortable with it the inside of the uh, the jimping is also a little rough but it's not that bad again same stainless steel the Sandvik steel 12 c27 for the tough this one they designed it with jo jo Josen H, a designer. Okay, of knife. If I close up to you here, you see the tough, you see the steel on the corner, and underneath the tough, you see the name of the designer. I really like the blade shape. Okay, uh, here you see the ticut with the uh, numbers the serial number on it again a very this one in g10 is nice a little more rough than the uh, the other one relief cut on each side so your finger can um, can grab it the right way there's kind of a finger groove up front which position your hand uh, it's really made to have either this way or that way okay for the uh, the fingers uh, it's really nice um, it is very clean construction there is no uh, pin on the back seam okay but you see the uh, the two screws and the back spacer okay you see the liners uh, there's there's some cuts in the liner so they've lighted the uh, the blade as much as they could still a heavy knife because it's quite a, a large stock on each almost um, this one is 12.4 uh, 12.5 millimeter okay or 0.47 almost 0.5 of an inch so this is full full thickness okay and you have uh, the back spacer again uh, as per no this one is different the pivot 
is only one side that you have a screw so must be a d-shaped pivot and on the handle it is torque screw both side there's there uh, they have torx head both side the three screws because there is three on this one okay the third one is really at the edge and again in this stay cut you have a deep carry clip and if you push it up is half an inch more down your pocket and it's black so it's full black more tactical if you like but full black and uh, it is the same color as the handle and it uh, goes into your pocket quite easily this one carries really well also it's not that bad of a knife okay it takes a little more space than the compact but it is a nice knife so i gave you the close-up at the same time while sitting and talking jesus i'm getting good at this am i <laughs> uh, each each video is different so so what do i think of the ticket uh for these two they are perfect I have a third one that it is, it is at home it's more it has a, um, a nail car on it it is nice uh, it's a the same knife I gave to my father because he's a hunter and he likes elk so I gave him as a as a gift I'll review it later on it's more of a showpiece than a user okay again 12 c27 nice high saber grind it is a saber grind it's not a nolo grind and you have a swedge on top here with the with a space for your thumb high saber grind with a sharp 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 drop point almost hoof's foot okay nice sharpener choil that brings you to the edge the edge the edge is uh a little up sweep here i think it's the uh the way they could grind it they couldn't go exactly to the end because they were too close to the handle but it's not bad it's not bad at all some jumping on the back of the flipper which becomes the front okay if i raise it you see you see the jumping here yeah okay really nice knife for a larger one this is one that's very comfortable to carry and very practical again by the shape of the of the blade it's a user it's a really nice one blocks to about half alleviation uh, there's a uh, some cut on the uh, on the liner lock so that way it folds in goes well not much more to say on the knife i mean every knife well, I like every every one of mine, except one, I must say. I have a knife I don't really like, but I knew when I bought it that it was most likely like that. And eventually I'll show it to you. It's not, not even a novelty, it's just plain knife. So one day i'll show it to you it's not even a carry-on i'm not even going to carry it but that's okay so this one this one is going to my pocket right this day and i'm going to carry it and confirm what i think of the knife i did carry it for a while not a long while very short while i really liked it so just to confirm because i need to choose a knife for next week so again the ticket tough if you like this video please like share and subscribe and we'll see you back in the next video